Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. So today I'm just going to try something else different from the norm. I'm going to bake a cake. It's a passion cake and uh, these are the steps that I'm going to take. So first I'm going to start by blending sugar, eggs and oil in a blender. This is the mixture of the three items that I'm going to use and as you can see I've put on the blender so that they can blend until they become uniform. So guys, actually I like baking whenever I'm at home, whenever I'm free I like to bake cake because my babies really love it. So after blending I'm now going to pour the mixture in this bowl and then I'm going to add some flour in it. So I'm going to take a glass of flour and pour in the mixture. I just want to bake a small cake, not a big one, one that is enough for my family. And when putting flour in the mixture, make sure that you save it because we don't want any particles to be seen in the mixture. So make sure you save it before you start mixing. <laughs> Guys, sorry for that noise. My kid is just screaming from the other room. They are taking a bath and they like making noise. So... I'm going to continue mixing the flour and the mixture until it becomes flawless. And by the way guys, share with me the kind of cake that you like. Is it passion, mango, strawberry or vanilla? Just share with me in the comment section below. After that, I'm going to add baking powder and salt. As always, I make sure that I save the powder and salt because salt some salt have large particles so i'm going to make sure that i save it before i add it in the mixture i'm sorry guys today if you're not getting me clearly it's because i have a very bad flu it has taken a toll on me but i i promise i'm going to overcome it soon so guys as you can see the mixture is still thick, so I'm going to add some milk in it so that it becomes less thicker. I'm going to continue blending this mixture until everything is absorbed. So when you're mixing and then you find that the mixture is still thicker, just continue adding more milk. Because milk is going to make it become less thicker. We don't add water, no. At this point, we keep on adding the milk until you get the desired mixture. As I said earlier, I'm going to make a passion cake, guys. So this is the juice from the passion that I'm going to add into the mixture. So I'm going to save it first before I mix it in the bowl. However, sometimes I don't see the seeds from the juice. I, I like adding them direct into the mixture. But today, because I want everyone to eat this cake, especially my sons, so I'm going to remove the seeds. When you put the seeds, they'll not taste the cake. They are like, mommy, what is this? I don't like, remove them for me. So I just want them to enjoy eating the cake. I actually don't like it when I bake something or when I prepare something and my kids don't want to eat because maybe I used a certain spice that they don't like. I like using what every member of the family is going to enjoy eating. So after that, this is the sophoria that I'm going to use in heating the cake. So I'm going to pour the mixture 
into the sufuria. As you can see, I started by applying some oil and flour in the sufuria so that when I'm going to heat the cake, it doesn't stick on the sufuria. So it's good always to prepare the sufuria first before you add the mixture if you don't want your cake to stick on, on it. So now I'm going to set the temperature that is required to heat the cake. And that is 180 degrees. Is it Celsius or centigrade? <laughs> I'm not so sure. And then I'm going to set it for 40 minutes. So I'll wait for 40 minutes before it's ready. And as you can see, I have put it in the oven. So we are going to wait for the 40 minutes to elapse. Oh, as you can see, our cake is now ready. So I'm going to remove it from the sufuria and put it here. It looks yummy. So yummy. So I'm going to put it in a plate before I cut it. This is our cake, guys. As you can see, it looks bigger now. And uh, I'm going to cut it so that I can test whether I did zero work <laughs> or I did an amazing work. I don't know who is going to to give me marks for this. So I'm going to taste this cake. As you can see, it looks yummy. So I'm going to, to taste it and see whether it's good for people to eat. And that will be all from me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope to see you soon in my next video and I'm looking forward to many more tutorials all the same. For those who haven't subscribed to my channel, please remember to do so. Also, remember to like and remember to share this video. You can also leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I read them and I'll get back to you. See you guys. I love you. Bye.